Hi fans of High Quality Entertainment. This is my second time doing the video because the first time I forgot to kind of press record. And uh, excuse me for the slight background noise, but it's a very warm day here, or a very hot day here in Ontario, Canada. So I have my air conditioning on, so deal with it. And today I am going to review, rate, and rank the Beatles song Dizzy Miss Lizzie, the final song from the Beatles album Help. And then it's on to, I was going to say Drive My Car, it's on to Rubber Soul and the first song, Drive My Car. And by the way, in my video yesterday, I sort of mispronounced uh, the instrument cello, and I said cello. I don't know why. I know it's cello, but I don't say cello or cello that often, so. And uh, Molly teases me quite often. I do mispronounce a word or two, including Molly. John Lennon vocals, rhythm guitar, Hammond organ, Paul McCartney bass, Hofner, Pinet electric piano. It's just a really tiny piano. George Harrison double tracked lead guitar, Ringo Starr drums, cowbell, and cello. <laughs> Just a couple fans. The Beatles recorded Larry Williams' Dizzy Miss Lizzie for their U.S. record company Capitol, who released it on the 1965 compilation Beatles 6. Dizzy Miss Lizzie had been a part of the Beatles' live repertoire, I can say that, since their earliest days. It was originally released as a single by Williams in 1958, the year I was born, We'll slow down on the B-side. And the Beatles recorded Dizzy Miss Lizzie the same day they recorded Bad Boy in May of 1965. And Paul stated, In an outtake I heard recently recording Dizzy Miss Lizzie, John is saying, what's wrong with that? And George Martin says, um, it wasn't exciting enough, John. And John mumbles, bloody hell. That kind of thing was creeping in a bit. It wasn't exciting enough, eh? Well, you come here and sing it then. And I think that's just the pressure of work. When you've been working hard for a long time, you really start to need a break. And I believe on my serious uh, top 10 worst Beatles song list, which included cover songs, because I consider cover songs Beatles songs, I think it was in that list, and it wouldn't be now. The, the main thing that annoyed me about this, the song and for others out there, some others out there, is the guitar riff throughout the song. Ding, 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 ding. And it's pretty re repetitive. But, but I've, I've started to enjoy it. I've, I've listened to the song over and over and it doesn't annoy me like it used to. And of course, John Lennon rips through the vocals just like he does in all of, all of the great rockers. Uh, great vocals by him. And Ringo Starr, he is a star for sure on this song. It's one of my favorite drum uh, parts for a Beatles song. He's just bashing those drums. I, I wish his drums were further up in the mix, but you know, the four track, but he's just bashing them and he's doing these rolls and whatever you call them and, and I just love them. So uh, great energy in the track. Repetitive, yes, but I, I enjoy it. I give it an 8 out of 10 now. And it goes between I Need You and Words of Love at number 46. I would love your thoughts on Dizzy Miss Lizzie in the comment section below. And stay tuned tomorrow, if you're watching today, for my next Bad Grammar video. That's right.